There is one population of patients that I know is, is woefully undertreated. Um, I mentioned that tremor is the easiest thing to treat. Um, and it's immediate gratification, unlike some of the other disorders where you know it takes a lot of uh, chronic stimulation to get the full effect. With tremor, a lot of times it's you know immediate gratification right in the operating room, and there are so many people out there with essential tremor that tolerate what you or I would consider disastrously bad tremor. Uh, and impaired dexterity. But the reason they do is interesting. Essential tremor is a very insidiously progressive disorder. Uh, I mean, they have really, really mild tremor when they're in their 20s and 30s that doesn't bother them. And it gradually gets better o or gets worse over the years. Um, but because it gets worse so gradually, they accommodate to it and they get used to having it. And you know, by the time people end up seeking my help with their tremor, they can't do things for themselves at all. You know, it's, it's, the, it's always the same story. You know, I, I don't go out to dinner anymore. I only eat things that I can pick up with my hands because I can't handle utensils. Um, when I drink coffee, I have to have a lid. Um, I never fill a cup more than half full. You know, it's always the same story. And I know there are a lot of people out there who have these horrible tremors and, and really struggle. In, in everyday activities. And those people, you know, the success rate for essential tremor DBS is, is exceptionally high. It's our best thing. It's the easiest thing for us to treat. And it's the most immediately gratifying. So, you know, I think for, for people who have those sorts of tremors, uh, that's a, no pun intended, that's a no-brainer.